Hello everyone. In this laptop, I'm going to show you how to find intersection point of two given lines if they intersect. So let's see what is the example. The example says find the intersection point of the following lines. The lines are given by set of parametrics, uh, parametric equations. The first one is this and the second one is this. Okay, this is a very general rule. If you want to find intersection of a line with a plane or a line with another line, you have to have parametric equations for uh, that line. In this case, both of the lines are given in parametric equations. Then if it's given in parametric equations, what you need to do is set corresponding equations equal to each other. Meaning that I have x in the first line in terms of t. I have x in terms of another parameter s in the second line. Put them equal to each other set the corresponding uh, coordinates, the components equal to each other. So xt equals to xs. So I will get t equals to 2s. The second one, yt equals to ys, so I have 2t plus 1 equals to s minus 2. And the third one is t minus 1 equals to 4s plus 1. Okay, I have set of equations with, with two variables, t and s. Okay. In general, you have to know how to solve system of linear equations. But in this specific case, it's very easy. Look at the first equation. It says t is twice as s. Then you can plug in this in the second and third equation and solve it for s, and then you will find values of t. So you using the first equation, which is t equals to 2s, I will plug in 2s wherever I see t. So in to the second equation. I plug it there, so 2 times 2s. Wherever you see t plug in 2s, uh, plus 1 is equal to s minus 2. I have 4s plus 1 equals to s minus 2. Bring variable, solve this equation for s. Bring variables one side constants to other side, 4s minus s equals to negative 2 minus 1. And this is 3s equals to negative 3, means that s is negative 1. Well, I found s is negative 1, then it will give me t also negative 2, because t is twice as s, yes? In this question, since we know that two lines are intersecting, then we don't need to do anything more. Just plug in s in, in the, in the parametric equations written in terms of s. That will be the intersection point. So the intersection point is I plug in negative 1 for s, so I get negative 1, y negative 1, z negative 1. It is 2 times negative 1, negative 1 minus 2, and 4 times negative 1 plus 1. This 
2 times negative 1 is negative 2, negative 1 minus negative 2 is negative 3, and uh, 4 times negative 1 plus 1 is negative 3. So the intersection point is negative 2, negative 3, and negative 3. That's it. We solve the equation, we find the corresponding s, and then we plug it in, into the corresponding parameter equations. But before we move on, uh, we finish this example, you can check your answers by doing one more step. And what is that step? I know that S negative one will give me the intersection point. But on the other hand, I know that T is two times S. So that gives me, so let me erase this part. Since, so I'm just checking the answer. So S is 2, sorry, T is 2S. So I, I found that T is 2S. And I know that S is negative 1. These two implies that if I plug in negative 1 here, T is negative 2. I have negative 2 for parameter t. If, that means that if I plug in negative 2 here, I should get exactly the same point that I found by plugging s equal to negative 1 into the parameter equation written in terms of s. So I, let's plug in this in xt. So x of negative 2, y of negative 2, z of negative 2. And note that when I'm plugging t negative 2 for t, I have to use these equations. So I will have negative 2, 2 times negative 2 plus 1, negative 2 minus 1. And this gives me negative 2. This is negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. And negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And you see that by plugging in, by plugging in t also in the equation, I get exactly same point. That means that I have done right computation. No matter I use s or t, I've got the right thing. That was just checking if the answer is correct or not.